Let's take your vlogging experience to the next level with an AI camera. This is Twit. This episode of Hands On Tech is brought to you by Plex. Plex is offering Twit listeners a 30-day free trial of Plex Pass. Go to plex.tv slash twit, code twit, Hey folks, I'm Matt Pruitt. I hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. And today on Hands-On Tech, we're gonna take a look at the Obspot Tail AI camera. Now, what exactly is this camera? You, you look at it and you think, um, how am I gonna vlog with this thing? Well, there's a couple things with it that you may find useful. First off, this camera, it comes with a quarter 20 thread so you can mount it to a tripod just as I've done here. But then again, I know you're still thinking it still looks a little awkward. It gets better. The Opspot tail uses a built in gimbal and a 360 degree turntable to help give you smooth 4K 60 frames per second footage. In addition to that, it also has built in AI motion tracking. Not only can you track yourself, you can track your pets and make your dog or your cat a YouTube star if you want to. The ideal setup that I would prefer with this is to use it as, say, a talking head or if you're doing a how-to video, say you're trying to do a nice fancy recipe and you want to show everyone how you want to set up your, your meal, set up your project and so forth. Set your camera over on the tripod and the Obsbot tail will easily track you as you move around on the set with no issue. Some of the tech features include a four to 14 millimeter uh, focal length, 4K 60 frames per second, the quarter 20 thread as I mentioned, and you also have uh, an internal mic on it, but the internal mic on it is a little bit of a hit or miss. I recommend attaching an external mic such as this Rode mic, but be mindful the Opspot tail has a fan that's running on the inside, so you might may pick up that fan just depending on your placement. What impressed me the most about the Opspot tail is the AI tracking capabilities. I tried to test it out and see if I could trick this AI by walking around a little bit faster, a little bit slower, walking in front of obstructions, and it did really, really well with that. I would put myself in a situation and track my dog and see if it would lose the, the motion tracking on who the subject of the video should be. The mobile app does a really good job allowing you to step into the interface and figuring out what the tracking point is, who the subject of the video is, as well as making sure your gimbal is optimized for your particular piece of footage. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use as long as you have the firmware updated. In addition to using the mobile app, you can also utilize gesture controls with the Opspot tail. Gesture controls are a good idea with most objects nowadays, but I, I don't know if everybody's tech is right up to snuff with it. The Opspot tail, I would rate it about oh, maybe 80% with gesture controls. You only have maybe three or so gestures. You just do a simple OK symbol to tell it to start recording you. This is good in premise, but there's not necessarily a good indicator to let you know the camera is actually recording. So I recommend just having your mobile device next to you, you know, stick it off in your pocket or something and just tap record and get it off the camera. And when you're done, just take it out and turn it off. Gestures are nice options, but I can't say I would necessarily depend on it. Overall, I think this is a very slick camera uh, that can be used to help step up your cinematic flow when it comes to your vlogging or coming to comes to your, your setting up a how-to or a tutorial if you will it's just a different look and again it gives you a, a wider perspective because you have that wide focal length as well as the 360 degree rotation so it can follow you around on your set get the osbot tail on the remo tech website for 589 dollars or you can get a little, little less cheaper over on Amazon for about $530. So that's it for this edition of Hands On Tech. Hop on over to twit.tv to check out more product reviews and news regarding the wonderful world of consumer technology. I'm Ant Pruitt. Thanks for watching. This episode of Hands On Tech is brought to you by Plex. Plex brings all the media that matters to you in a single app on any device, no matter where you are. You can organize and stream your personal collection of movies, TV shows, music, and more.
Plex is offering Twit listeners a 30-day free trial of Plex Pass, which gives you access to all their premium features. Go to plex.tv slash twit and enter the code twit to start your free trial of Plex Pass today. That's plex.tv slash twit. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.